Hey guys and welcome. Second half of October, okay? And we are doing air signs this time. So Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Before we get to the readings, the usual warnings, these are general readings, so they will not resonate with everyone. They might not have messages exactly for you. If you feel like your sun sign reading does not resonate, you can check out your moon, rising, Venus, or any other reading that you kind of feel drawn to. And there might be messages more specifically for you. And yeah, if you want information on the decks or anything else related to the reading, it's down in the description box. There's also a timestamp so you can skip to your reading if you don't want to watch the whole video. There's also a link to uh, where you can find more information on personal readings if that is something that you are interested in. And finally, this is one of my all-time favorite decks that I own and I'm so happy to be able to use it because it is the season for it but just like last time with the Santa Muerte this might not be for everyone this is a tarot Z so it is a zombie deck okay so it is a little gross at times so if that offends someone um, these readings might not be for you I will continue doing the Weekend readings with more neutral decks, and I might be doing some extra um, readings. I haven't decided yet if they are pick a card or just general, general like the weekend readings, okay? But I never get to use this deck, so I want to use it now. And I think that is all of it, so let's just get to the readings. We are starting with Aquarius, okay? What is up for Aquarius for the second half of October? Oh, okay. Well, that one wants to come out. We have two of wands. Somehow from this I'm getting instantly that someone or something is showing you the way. Okay, let's see what else we get. We have another two. We have two of pentacles. One more. We have the Queen of Swords. Okay, that is air energy. So that is you. Twos, um, at least for me, are kind of... They are these kind of balancing cards. Possibly have to make a decision. We have, the, we have another queen here. We have the queen of pentacles, okay? It does feel like... <clears throat> it does feel like someone or something, especially someone, is going to show you the way, okay? I don't know to what, um, but it is something that has been kind of weighing on you for a while. Possibly, and you haven't really figured it out yet. And something just kind of shows up. I have a feeling that it might have uh, to do with the um, Earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or just someone very stable. Might be a mother. Okay, might be your mother. Might be a big sister. Or just some, this kind of more stable looking female 
doesn't necessarily have to do have to be a female but that is the kind of energy i'm getting here right now this is a very quiet card here right now just kind of get this weird feeling that you're not happy that someone else figured it out for you okay um like if you've been wondering about something for a long time and you finally have like a clear path you know don't not go for it just because it wasn't you who figured it out okay this might be someone you don't particularly like for example if it's a work situation it might be a co-worker that's always like trying to one-up you and this time they kind of might have and you might not be very happy about that but you know you can still do it and it's not just their glory for having figured it out because you are you have you still have to do the thing you have to go through the path and to the destination whatever whatever it is for you and you can do it your way okay just because someone else showed you like oh by the way the door is there you're going to open it and walk through it and then decorate that room whatever it is in your own personal style okay Teachable are you? Okay, that fits perfectly to what I just said. Um, we need to have an open mind also to, you know, you are not always right. You don't always have the answers. You need to be open. Because maybe someone else has better answers and then you need to take that and uh, adapt to it. Like, that doesn't mean that everything you know knew about the situation is completely wrong. It's just we have to be open to receive new information and adapt and then evolve. And it might be kind of an inner battle for you right now, but yeah. Like, just remember, like, right now... If someone shows you the bath somewhere, you can just go like, thank you for helping me with that and I will take it from here, okay? So as long as you don't just kind of sit in the bitterness, it looks like it is very good end of the month for you because it is definitely something that will help you move along on whatever it is um it does seem like possibly work related but it could just be you know you just um fit it to your life however it however it fits <laughs> okay next up we have libra let's see what's up for libra for the end of october Okay, um, there is possibly an 
we have the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck as well. Fits nicely here. Not very nicely because this does not seem like it's a very pleasant energy here. But we have a very prominent male, possibly older. Very kind of authority figure. Could be a father, but not necessarily. But I do get this kind of family vibe here. Someone who provides, okay? Who really wants to do the right thing for the family or whatever group of people that they are in charge of. But sometimes might do it in a way that seems really off-putting to the other people. Like they, their heart is in the right place, but they're, they act in a way that doesn't necessarily show that right right at that moment and then we have the hermit kind of pulling in which this goes perfectly with that we have this kind of vulnerable left alone to battle the herd of zombies over there and we also have the moon here okay so it's really kind of Pulling in, okay? It's like you might not see eye to eye with this male figure. It doesn't need to be a male, okay? It can also be a very kind of authoritative. Is that a word? Well, you get me anyway. Um, woman, but it has this kind of very masculine energy, okay? So you might not see eye to eye. There is a need for collaboration though. So you pulling away completely, it might just create conflict. And okay, boundaries are okay. If someone is really telling you off and everything, even though you might see that they come from the right place, but the way they are delivering the message is really not good you know you don't need to take it you can say like you're crossing the line with me mister maybe tone it down a little bit but like you seem to be completely taking it to the other like you are leaving the building you're not having none of it so whatever you have whatever group dynamic this is might be falling apart because of this um, rift here, okay? So maybe try to um, get a conversation going and balance things out a little bit before it completely falls apart because some something something needs you both to work on it, okay? You can't do it alone, they can't do it alone. Has to be a group effort. Home. <laughs> that, like, I'm pretty sure I said it a while ago. It does feel like it is a very home dynamic. Family dynamic. We also have patience here at the bottom of the, bottom of the deck right now. So it it does it does have a, this kind of it's like if you don't pull things together whatever this group was because it is important to both of you but right now you're just you're just on different sides of a war and it's about to get nasty if you don't manage to settle things before they get any worse okay that's what it looks like you need to have some patience with each other and with yourselves okay there's also a lot of astrological stuff happening right now um, that are, can possibly, you know, there's the Mercury retrograde too, I think, coming up that can kind of 
complicate things, but like you still need to sort things out before they get worse, okay? Last up, we have Gemini. Let's see what's happening with Gemini for the second half of October. Yes, I was thinking we had, this came out this way, okay? Five of Wands, which is conflict, possibly arguments, just chaos and conflict, not going well. We have Seven of Swords, which is kind of strategizing, maybe going sneaky behind each other's backs, you know, that kind of really icky energy and I was I was pretty sure this last one is not gonna be very nice either and we have the tower and it was this way so it does feel like possibly you don't see it coming you might be expecting something okay things might already be kind of we have a page of Page of swords, swords here, so things might already be kind of tense. Someone might be spying on someone else here. Maybe kind of gathering intel, you know, going under social media and doing all that kind of sneaky stuff. And that might just blow up into this whole big thing that you did not see coming. So whatever the situation you have been in, that is kind of slowly turning into something very tense and intense. Like all I can say right now is like, if there is a possibility for you to leave the situation before this happens, please do. There is no salvaging it. Now I want to remind everyone that these are general readings, so if you do feel like everything is okay in your life, this is not for you, okay? This is something is already feeling sneaky and, and tense, you know, for people who already feel like that. It might get worse, okay? I'm not saying definitely things are going to go really bad, but for some people... They might. It also depends on how you proceed. Okay, so if you keep digging and not trusting and just being this kind of really sneaky, I feel like this might be your energy, okay? It's like you are looking for trouble. There might be trouble already, okay? You might be very right. But the way you're going at it is very sneaky. Like you are, you know that someone is doing something behind your back. So you are doing something behind their back instead of confronting them face to face about it. So this might be actually you making this happen. So if that's you making this happen, don't act like, oh my goodness, where did that come from? Because you... Are the instigator if someone did something to you, you it's better to kind of confront them leave the situation if possible instead of digging further picking fights it doesn't look good it's not a good it's not a good energy they're not happy cards at all.
patience. Yeah. And home. They are the same exact cards that I just had out for Libra. If you're dealing with a Libra, you know, you might want to check that reading out too. Because um, it was also kind of not this extreme, but also dealing with a situation where two people just couldn't manage being in the same space together, basically. But this just goes one step further and it's like you both know that the other person is full of crap and you just keep pretending to each other's faces like everything is fine while stabbing each other in the back. Like why would you do that? Why would you do that? But if that's your situation, you know, maybe take a look at that. Take also a hard look at yourself. Why would you be in that situation? And why would you keep digging and making it worse instead of confronting it? Like you just... Feeding the fire here. You or the other person. It could also be the other person, but it does feel like it's you. Okay. Okay. Air signs. That looped. I hope this was helpful anyway, and I will see you again soon in another video.